Hey besties, I am back. It's been a minute, it's been so long. Oh my God, I just filmed this intro and I didn't know how to speak. So I'm re-filming the whole thing because I feel like I have not filmed in ages. We have a lot to catch up on my friends, okay? I mean, you saw the title, I moved. This background, this room, it's different. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. We're gonna get into all of that throughout the video. The video's a little chaotic, but I'm super proud of it, I love it. It's all gonna make sense as we go along the little moving journey. You guys are gonna see my apartment search with Brenda. You're gonna see a bunch of different units. Um, you're gonna see us cleaning the unit, moving, and an empty apartment tour. I'm living downtown in a lovely condo. It's so cute, I love it. It's still not done, that's why the walls are like super plain. But we're gonna get into all of this in the video, okay? I don't know, I don't wanna ramble. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it. Are you excited? Super. <laughs> are you or are you nervous? Yeah, both. I'm excited to see. So this was one of three apartments we saw on the same street. It was a two bedroom, no living room uh, unit that was going for, I believe 2,200. And it was really cute, but the bedrooms were small. They were small and I wasn't fucking with the lighting. I just felt like I would feel super claustrophobic in this place, so yeah. The kitchen was cute, you know, the oven wasn't blue. It was just protective ceiling on there. I mean, we definitely liked it, but we didn't feel like it was the one. We didn't get that like moment, that spark of joy. I liked how everything was newly renovated. The fridge was nice, very nice. Brenda likes to check all the fridges. Uh, bathroom was freshly renovated. It was, it was lovely, but it didn't feel like home. So right away by this entrance, I was like, Oy. oh, okay, let's see. I didn't know it was a basement. It was not listed as one. Um, the photos were deceiving. It was a really nice home. It was actually in the basement of the unit you just saw. Brenda loved this one. I <laughs> Look at her checking the fridge again. I didn't really enjoy this one. I felt it was too dark. I saw a couple bugs, which is expected in a basement. It was really nice. It was, it was renovated well. It was super cute, but I just, I did not want a basement. I really didn't. The rooms were a great size. This one was actually a three bedroom and I believe this was listed for $2,000 if I recall correctly. She loved it, I didn't, and it's important that both of us decide together. So we decided to just move on and continue the search. Uh, this one, ooh, it looked different in the photos. Let me tell you, I was just like, damn, you guys didn't want to do a little sweep before we entered. The kitchen was kind of like cute. I actually liked the flooring, oddly enough. I, <laughs> there she goes again. I liked the view. I thought it was cute, um, but I wasn't in love. I was just okay with it. And when you're looking for a home, you can't just be okay with it, you know? But then I saw the bathroom and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> what is going on uh you know I, I you see it you see it no disrespect to the homeowners i'm being a little shady i liked the sizes of the rooms i think they were great sizes but the windows were really small look at that it's like a jail cell man i need fresh sunlight what is fresh sunlight i don't know again i did enjoy the view I thought it was cute. This bedroom was actually lovely. I think it was facing Dufferin. If you know Toronto, then you're probably familiar, but look at these walls. It was so odd. I was just wondering why it wasn't like maintained a little better, but that's Toronto for you. So we moved on to the next. Okay, this one we loved. We loved. Spoiler alert, we actually ended up in this building in a bigger unit. This one was really cute and we saw it through our realtor, Brenda Malangus, Property Matters with Brenda on Instagram. She is amazing. Um, we really loved it, but the problem was it was listed as a two bedroom, but it was actually a one bedroom plus den. So this was the main bedroom and this was the den, which would have been Brenda's bedroom, but it's looking more like a jail cell. 
Um, so we did not go for this one. The kitchen also didn't seem to have enough storage or space for us. And if you guys know me, I love to cook and I need space. I be chefing it up, you know? So we were open to seeing another unit in the building and that's what we told her. So this is Brenda's info. She is the one who got us the property that we chose, the unit that we chose. We're renting, not buying, but yeah, we loved it. We loved it. It was cute. It was modern. It felt good. We were excited about it, but we just knew it was too small. So we had faith in the unit and yeah, I mean, we ended up going for something very similar. So you guys will see that eventually. I really loved the view because you can people watch from here. I loved everything about it. Just the size was completely off, but that's okay. That's okay because we ended up with something so much better and bigger, but you'll see that soon. So this is one that I actually loved. I loved this one and I wanted it. Brenda wasn't as excited about it. Um, again, we both have to decide. This is one of the three that we saw on the same street. You guys will probably notice a similar layout of the stairs. A lot of Toronto uh, houses have the stairs that lead up to the two bedroom apartments that are part of like a duplex, a triplex. Um, anyways, it was really cute. Uh, it had a lot of stairs. So we were thinking about moving and that was crazy. We didn't like that the bedrooms were completely different sizes. One of the bedrooms, this one, would have been Brenda's and it was tiny. It was so small. And then the bedroom that was supposed to be mine, which you'll see in a second, was ginormous. And it had like four windows and it like led out to like a patio. It was beautiful. Look at that. It was so nice. It had two closets. I was like living the dream, but it wasn't fair. It wasn't fair. So we moved on. This one was odd. No shade to these people, but we were getting some weird vibes in this place. So we weren't that interested. We knew right away. It was a three bedroom. This one, I believe, was 2,200, I think, which was surprising because, it, again, it was three bedrooms. It was on a really main street. It was it was nice. I just didn't like the vibe. I didn't like the lighting and it was slightly over budget and more than we needed. We don't need three bedrooms. So we looked at it. We didn't really take up much of their time because, again, it was really weird, but it was a nice spot. Um, I liked the bathroom a lot. I think it was really nice, newly renovated um which is rare even though i'm showing you a bunch with renovated washrooms that's actually pretty rare out here they're really old homes in toronto but this one had a nice kitchen it led into the third bedroom which could have been used as a living room then it also had a cute little juliet balcony that kind of overlooks the residential streets of toronto which actually looks cute i don't know maybe it's just comforting to me but this one was okay but we were not interested at all we both knew it and we moved on Hi besties, looks like we have a lot to catch up on, huh? I am moving again. You know, I used to always talk shit about why do YouTubers move all the time? Why do they move every year? This is my third time moving in three years. Third time. It's a choice. I'm not complaining, it's a choice. I'm excited, life's gonna be really different. I'm moving downtown. I'm moving downtown, that's crazy. So I'm about to go pick up the key from the real estate that we've been working with. Her name is Brenda. She's amazing, she's amazing. So if you guys need a realtor in Toronto, GTA, please hit her up. She worked so hard to get us our dream place. Like the way she was fighting for us, I don't know how many realtors would do that, honestly. Like we probably shouldn't have got this place, but we did. It's a long story, but I'm excited. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm gonna do a tour and all that, but I need to go. I need to go get the key. So let's go, let's go, come on, come on. We've arrived. Okay, so we have arrived at the new place. You can hear the echo. It has that new place sound. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know, I'm so wired right now. I had a cappuccino. This is my bedroom. It's a little tiny, but I'm okay with that. I am gonna give you guys an empty apartment tour right now. The place is still dirty. The walls are looking a little dusty. 
but they just need some TLC. Oh, I see my name. Oh, she has no pants on. Okay. <laughs> this is weird because I can see everyone and everyone can see me. As you can see, there's just a whole lot of people. Okay, empty apartment tour, let's go. This is my bedroom. This is the bedroom. My closet is a little small and that's okay. This is downtown living. I already knew I had to sacrifice space. So this is the bathroom. I have my own private bathroom. How crazy is that? I'm so happy about that. Um, some pretty good storage. Don't know what this is, but you know, marble countertops, maybe. I don't know what that is. It looks like marble. Maybe it's fake marble. That's me, my cleaning outfit. This is my shower, my toilet, beautiful stuff. I love the tile in here. I'm so excited to just have a nice modern bathroom. This is my room. On to the living room. Okay, so this is the living room. Over here, we're gonna put our couch. It's from StruckTube. We got it on Facebook Marketplace. And then over here, we're gonna put a little bench, TV on the wall. It's gonna be beautiful. Over here, we have a closet. Nothing special, just a closet. Don't know what this is, I think it's air. I actually, I really don't, I don't know. There's air there, we have, we have AC, we have AC my friends. This is Brenda's room. Cute, cute, I, this is my clothes. I just had to change some. This is her closet. And this is the kitchen. I'm cleaning, so I have all my cleaning stuff here. Look how beautiful and modern the kitchen is. Oh, the cooking videos. The cooking videos I will be making in here. That's all my cleaning shit, sorry. I know it looks like a mess, but it is what it is. This is our dishwasher. Yes, bitch, we have a dishwasher. We are on some rich girl shit. Oh my God, you wanna know what else we have? Ah, a fridge, first of all. I'll show you that. We have a fridge. Crazy, huh? It's nice. Mm-hmm. We have, we have a washer and a dryer. Oh, God, I'm so happy. You're in the microwave currently. I'm so happy, I'm so grateful. I know the place needs a little bit of TLC the wall specifically and some cleaning. I'm okay with that. Brenda's gonna meet me later on. She's just at work right now, so I'm just chilling here alone, soaking it all in. I actually prefer to like be here alone right now because I just wanna like absorb it and like, you know, just experience it. Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I'm gonna get to cleaning now, but let me know what you think of my new little condo in the comments. I am beyond excited. I wonder what my neighbors are like. I wonder what kind of people are in this building. I wonder, I just wonder. Okay, I'm gonna go. Let's get cleaning, I guess. Okay guys, the moment you've all been waiting for, a furnished, completed, fully moved in apartment tour. Yeah, keep waiting, cause it's not ready. <laughs> it's not ready. I mean, it's pretty ready. It's pretty ready. It's looking good. The kitchen, ooh, it looks amazing. Everything's unpacked. However, there are a few things I need to do, such as mount the TVs, put the art on the walls, get some stuff mounted, and then I will be ready to give you guys the full tour of the fully furnished unit. Also, this video is getting long, so I'd rather do that in a separate video and just talk about like why I moved, what it's been like living here, um, and just, I don't know, like a one-year update on living with a roommate and like just a tour. I'm gonna do that on one video, so it's not just like a two-minute tour and like done, you know? So keep an eye out for that video. Um, I'm back. I'm settled in. I have moved, I have found peace, and I am back. So expect some content from me because I miss you guys so fucking much. It's been a month. 
yeah okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna be posting soon don't know when but soon so if you have any suggestions for upcoming videos you want to see from me please let me know in the comments down below i guess that's it thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>